This is Gwen Carden for HybridCarNews.co, the Internet's go-to website for blogs and everything having to do with the latest on hybrid cars. And I have with me again today William Gill of Jensen Beach, Florida, who has a 2009 Toyota Prius. And he's a personal friend of mine. If you saw the other video, you'll know that he was the person who first introduced me to hybrid cars and gave me my first little joy ride in a car, which a uh, hybrid, which was really fun. We're on Skype once again, and William, as a consumer, has a lot of really interesting things to share with people who might be considering buying a hybrid vehicle. So we were talking in the last segment about the, the, the gas mileage that you were getting. I found it very interesting that the car gets better mileage in the city than on the highway. So have you had any calculations at all of what you might have saved in gas uh, if, since you had the car over having had a gasoline car? I haven't actually sat down and uh, calculated the difference, but I can tell you that I am getting about 12 more miles to the gallon for my former car, and gas prices are nearly twice as much in, in the last two years I've had the car, the hybrid. So doing some simple math, that's uh, 24 times uh, savings, so if... Uh, gas is four dollars a gallon and I'm saving 12 miles to the gallon uh, you know some simple math will show that I am getting uh, more than the 12 mile difference it's more like 25 more miles to the gallon than I used to based on both the uh, gas mileage and the gas price you didn't know I was going to give you a math question today did you? no, no, no <laughs> but I would have actually brought my calculator <laughs> that's good well, so how do you feel about the way your hybrid handles? Does it feel any different than your gasoline car? My hybrid handles great. Uh, part of that may be that I purchased what Toyota calls the Touring model, that it's a hybrid uh, Prius that also has a few extra features like a tuned suspension, um, and a little bit of a spoiler, and I have one more transmission related feature that I forget, but the turn model actually has a few extra features in it, and I actually took it up to the mountains of North Carolina for a ride, and it performed beautifully. Really? It's, so it didn't have any, any struggles with those, those big... Uh, no struggles at all, both in uh, the sense of the suspension and in the sense of the engine. It was a joy to ride in the mountains of uh, South and North Carolina. So I would say it even felt like it handled better than my Accord. Wow, that's interesting. Well, I remember when I first got in your vehicle, I saw all kinds of things on a panel uh, that I had never seen before, and I wondered just kind of briefly what those are and how difficult or easy it is to get used to. Now, I know you're kind of a techie computer guy, but, but did, do you think the average person can pretty quickly figure out what those extra readouts are all about? Actually, the extra readouts are an energy monitor. It just shows you your gas mileage by way of using a graph. And there's another screen that it will show you which engine is pushing the car, the gas engine, the electric engine, or both. So you do not really need to look at that display. The car actually is very uh, dumbed down when it comes to gauges. There are no gauges other than the speed indicator, the gear position indicator, and the... Uh, the fuel quantity, that's it. I actually, being a techie guy, like a car that shows me all the gauges and the Prius has none of those. Uh, when a problem comes up, the display will change to show you the problem, but other than that, you basically only get to see your, your speed and your gear position and your fuel quantity. The big display that you saw it's not required for the operation of the car, and it can actually be turned off. But again, it's actually a graph of your gas consumption. Uh -huh. Well, did, did it make you aware, having this car, of your driving habits? Was there anything that you realized that you were doing about in the way that you drove that maybe changed once you got a, uh, a hybrid vehicle? 
Well, yes, and, and more than my driving habits, I have learned how to drive the Prius. You know, the Prius is a computer that decides which engine to use, and I have learned how that program works. Uh, for example, at first I used to accelerate very slowly, hoping to save all the gas that I could, and while it's still not a good idea to slam on the gas pedal, I have learned that if I use a normal acceleration, and then when I get to my desired speed, I back off from the gas pedal, that's when the computer tends to kick in the electric engine once the car is running, it, it, it's going, it has accelerated. So I have learned that it's best to quote unquote use normal driving habits and let the computer figure out what to do instead of trying to outguess the computer. That's very interesting because I, I guess people might might try to do that since they are made aware of you know more things that are going on in the engine than you, than you would in a regular gasoline car. That's very interesting. Well, very good. Well, um, that is just about all that we have to, time to cover in this segment. And I would just like to remind people that if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more, we'd like you to click on the like button. And more than that, we'd like you to come back and visit our website on a regular basis. You'll be getting to see another interview with my friend William. You'll learn a little bit more about hybrid cars from a consumer perspective from him. And we'll also be making sure that we keep you up on the very latest news. So thank you for joining us and we look forward to seeing you soon.